welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about some problems we had with the caddy. Now, I've got some footage to show you exactly what happened to the caddy, but we're first going to talk about a few other issues and then we'll talk about the main one and obviously is it fixed or not. We're currently in this lovely little area. I found like a little pullover spot. This field is amazing by the way. It goes all the way up nice and flat grass. It's amazing. Um, so I thought I'd stop over and give you a little chat, give you an update with the caddy. I'm just going to turn the fans down one. Uh, obviously we bought the caddy, we fit the stereo and then we've just had an abundance of problems. Um, now just a little disclaimer, this isn't you know the fault of the person we bought it off. Uh, Liam if you are watching, it's not your fault, we know <laughs> it just happens sometimes but it definitely makes for some good content. So if we quickly turn the engine off, come outside. So it has been a long long time since we posted the caddy on the channel and here it is she's looking pretty much exactly the same a bit sorry for herself because uh, we took her to uh, did a tip run the other day and now she's filthy <laughs> i think even in the back yeah you can see we put these back in just to protect but there's yeah it, it, you know it's in better days anyway today's video is talking about some of the problems we had with the caddy so when i picked the van up i told you guys about a few issues we had which have all been resolved now but one of them was the wheel bearing now we thought it was this wheel bearing and it wasn't it was actually that wheel bearing we had the stupid vibration like every time we went over about 50 miles an hour it would just like not like a shake but like a like a frequency like a boo like that sort of frequency and that really got on my nerves and em's nerves <laughs> now that's just common telltale sign that a wheel bearing's gone we thought it was this one unfortunately it was that one so they uh, did all that and they fixed it another thing to do with the front you can see is a brand new anti-roll bar both sides so once again we also had a bit of a knocking issue now this knocking was literally over everything right it was like little bumps big bumps small bumps once again another good sign that a uh, anti-roll bar link is done these are both the you know wear and tear items something with you know 74,000 miles you would expect to sort of have these problems but once again that got solved and then there's a few other things like a common caddy problem this door handle wouldn't open first time now it does yeah, that's fixed. Um, like I said, we replaced the indicators because this one kept falling out. And then the, you know, the odd and sod things here and there, which we've, you know, fixed and replaced. But the major thing, and the thing that sparked me to make this video, is the fact this thing literally went into limp mode. The van actually struggled to start, and it was, it was really weird. I did a bit of research, and it only struggled to start when it was seriously cold. But if you'd start it, like, you'd start it, and it would just crank over, do, 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 and it wouldn't start until eventually, Something happened and then it started. Or well, anyway, uh, if you then immediately shut it off and turn it back on, it would start at first time. So I did a bit of research and found out that it could possibly be the fuel draining back down the line uh, because of a leaky injector seal. Now what I'm gonna do before I carry on, I'm gonna show you the footage. What, what happened, just to give you a bit of a background, we were doing a pull from about 30 miles an hour all the way to about 85. And as we touched 85 miles an hour, she went into limp mode. We lost absolutely all the power limped it all the way back home with barely enough energy to get up the drive and that's where i decided to start recording so i'll see you guys in just a second prepare yourselves it's a sad van you're about to see we've got our first issue do the honors before we plug her in here we go okay all's well until you start it okay or if anybody has ever owned a caddy in their life, they know exactly what that means. Uh oh. Let's get in here. Let's plug her in. So, M is pretty sure it's injectors. It's like a common thing on caddies. On um, the 1.6s. On the 1.6s, obviously, yeah. So, we're just cruising along, did a little pull. Injector light comes on, no power. Luckily, we're close to home, aren't we? But it's got literally no power now, so plug her in scanner it and let's see what it is right so we've got her up and the first basic obd2 is injector circuit open cylinder two so obviously that's the fault try reset this okay start her up just check it probably will be bad yeah you can feel it but you can also see the glow plug going off and i'm sure if you do another scan it'll be there so we'll have to get this sorted so as you can see if I quickly pop the bonnet, she had literally no power. I'm gonna give you a bit of a story on this because it was quite funny because we ended up having to drive it up. So we plugged her in, 
had all the diagnostic stuff as you saw and we found out it was injector number two so realistically we thought you know what let's get some recovery you know we've got we've paid for breakdown cover we'll quickly uh order it get it to the house they can pick it up and drop it off well funny enough um they deemed this too low well, i don't know about you but it's not low at all <laughs> When you compare it to the Focus, it's definitely not low. Um, but yeah, they said it was too low and that they're going to have to get a special truck. So the special truck was going to be £100 excess. And I was thinking, breakdown cover? You paying because they don't have the right equipment? That doesn't seem right, surely. Especially if you told them it's modified. Anyway, so I had to limp this thing up at like a max speed of 25 miles an hour and I had to drive it like 20 miles. It was pain, but uh, we got there in the end. Now, excuse the engine bay, we haven't actually got to cleaning this just yet. But if I lift the engine cover up for this side and this side, quickly get it off. You can see that there's a new injector. Now, some of these I was looking, that one looks a bit newer than that and that. Do you know what I mean? Is it just me? Like these fuel lines are new as well. I, I, I think they replaced some fuel lines, but that injector looks, that's obviously the newest, right? That's the one we've just replaced. That looks like it's been replaced. These two look like the factory. Now, if you look at this, if you know, if you know anything about caddies, you know there's a certain part number for injectors that are like absolutely terrible and they tend to go down. So looking at these, that's a B. If it's got a B on the end, then it's bad, right? And if it's got an S, it's good. So we've got a B and S. I don't know, like that's a, that's just a weird part number, and then a B. So that ties in with my theory, right? Newest, that's replaced. That probably isn't OEM, and then this and this is OEM. So what you most probably find is that the injector was actually replaced. The guy probably thought, oh, there's a few other problems. I'm just going to sell the van. Sold the van, and we picked up the rest of the pieces. But like I said, it's not the it's not the fault of anyone that sold the vehicle i mean you, you're not going to know this are you really so um i always say it's not about the problem it's about how it's dealt with and um yeah it was dealt with flawlessly absolutely amazing sorted it out drove it up there left it there for a day or two they waited on some parts installed it and it was replaced so there you go it, all in all not really you know that much issue it happens with every car i buy um, not so much every car that M buys. So it is quite interesting because normally a car that M picks is pretty spot on. You know, if I buy cars, the clutch normally goes, it's got a knock, <laughs> that sort of thing, you know? M buys a car, usually it's like a few cosmetic things. To be fair, her Peugeot did have an issue with the handle. So maybe that's her thing, a handle. And obviously the injector going down, but when we bought this van, we had a look at the injectors, we had a look at the part numbers, and we knew the risk we were taking. And we came to the conclusion it wasn't really an issue, and it's something, you know, uh, they gave us a six months warranty with, with this thing, which is like massive, massive peace of mind, you know? So if those two injectors decide to go down, the only problem we're gonna have is getting it up to uh, the, repair, the repair place, because it's 20 miles, but I've done it, right? I thought, I'm not paying 100 pound, I'm gonna limp mode it there, <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. That's pretty much it, you know? We've just been driving the van, getting used to it. I think M loves it uh, more and more every single day. We've done like a few little bits to it as well, which is really good. We plugged the Carly in, and we turned on stuff like the needle sweep, as you saw in the last video. Um, you can also see here, we've turned on the MFD, but obviously we haven't got the controls to you know change the screen but we hit the fuel light right the fuel light and it now turned to the remaining miles which is much more useful than the bloody outside temperature ever since we've had the injector replaced we start her up she runs like a peach i mean just a few things to note after we inject change the injector uh it just runs really really smoothly like gear changes are much much smoother obviously the starting's a lot better um it just feels like it it's a bit more refined you know but it's not to say that it was a problem before like we wouldn't have bought the van or we would have said something if we thought it was a problem before this field is stunning i'm definitely going to come back here again it's amazing anyway guys thank you all for watching it's just a quick update video on the caddy uh just keep your eyes peeled we've got a few things planned um i absolutely love this van i think em loves it too so yeah it, it's just great i've like i'm so motivated to see what we can get up to see what things we can add uh, obviously it's our, both of our first vans so it's like almost well what can we do what you know it's like it's, it's starting the, the whole thing over again so super super excited anyway guys thank you all for watching if you did enjoy the video leave a like consider subscribing and other than that i'll see you in the next video